Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons & Dragons Tactics. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, I had slain a bunch of large elementals, some Erinese, I still don't know how to pronounce that, and was about to activate this next pillar. But now without some rest, some relaxation, some buffing, and now some stressing about whether or not I'm going to die. So what I've pretty much done is I've positioned uh, some of our... Some of the more apt fighters in the different positions. I'm going to have Darius rage the second that he gets the chance to. Uh, River is over here. Hasted, Cat's Grace, and Greater Invisibility. I got Pit over here with Greater Invisibility, Haste, and such. Hopefully what I'm able to do is the second that they spawn, I'm going to be able to disintegrate this one. And the other one uh, over here, I'm just going to have get jumped on by Talos and Spadunkus. Also both hasted, also both, you know, mass bowl strength. So, this is going to suck. Oh, wait. He's in a different location. Alright, so, almost all of them are exactly where I thought they were going to be. Almost all of them. Oh, crud. Don't know, don't know why I thought that this one was going to be elsewhere. Could I, in theory, cast Slumber on this one? It's just going to have less than 10 hit dice worth of... You know what? Let's try it out. That didn't work. No effect. Alright. Let's get all up in his grill. Maybe uh, maybe that would stop it if it had uh, a grill with which to get stuck on. Don't be the stun effect. Oh, don't be the stunned. Don't be the stunned. He was the stunned. Shit. Are you the stunned? Are you the stunned? Is that the effect of the stunned? Oh, uh, crap. This might suck. This is gonna suck. Because I don't see where it is on, on this here PDF file. Where it says stunned is. Well, I think for most intents and purposes, River is gonna be dead. Um. Crap. Although I suppose I'll focus on saving who I can in this particular case. It's going to be my friend Ar Emerald. Ar I almost said Armand. That's a different character altogether. Spell resistance. Spell resistance is a thing. Alright. Escape. Oh no, they're just entangled. Okay. That's a full round action too. Sucks. Is that a success? Haha! Ha! I made the save. You fool. And now I rage. I don't know why. Yeah, whatever. Uh, full attack action seems the most apt. 106 HP, you say? 109. I don't know why I read 106. Less than that now. Um, let's have you step here. Full attack sh action here. Oh, really? Damn it. I gave you bull strength for a reason. Okay, so, um, might be a little on the bone side for most of these guys. Um, what I'm also confused about, unless they have just straight up see invisibility, is why they were able to see um, cure critical break enchantment invisibility greater. Yeah, because invisibility greater makes it so as you aren't oh, this is a dumb idea. Now, you cannot be seen unless they have... Yeah, okay. Unless they have some sort of wiggy effect, like see invisibility, period. 
I don't know why that's not counted as a thing to allow him. Was that... Did you make it out of the effect previously? I think she did. I want to hope that she did. I'm going to hope that it's just spell resistance. That way you can penetrate it. Or did did they make them straight up immune? I think they made them just straight up immune. That's not good. Because that means both Pit and Amrod are practically useless against these guys. Uh, okay. Still invisible. Don't know if this actually counts as uh, doable, but hey, let's. Uh, she's got little else to do. Okay. Still snuck attacked. S sneak attacked. Ah, uh, god damn it! Of course, it would have to be you. All right, escape out of that. I don't know why I hit intern instead. Freedom of movement. That's what I should have prepared. Ah, oh, now I'm angry at myself. If they're entangled, that means that it's a freedom of movement that I could use to make it so as that does effectively nothing. Problem is, uh, I'm not 100% sure whether or not we are able to cast it. If anyone in the party is able to cast it in the first place, I mean. Alright, um, let's try moving. Because it's clear that he has no interest in getting into straight up melee combat. Mm. I had to misclick. I just had to misclick, didn't I? Okay, it's fine. It's okay. We got this. I'm pretty sure. Who's got the raised dead? It's the the cleric has the raised dead. So as long as the cleric stays alive, affect him. Oh my god! They do. They just made him straight. Okay, that didn't stun him, but it did hurt a lot. Okay. It might be... Might honestly just be more beneficial for her to just continue her... What are you... Darius 2? When what is it? Ah, fine. No, that's great. That's good. I love that. It's fantastic that one character dies despite the party having a raised dead ability. You know, just, just have them die. Why not? Entire party loses. Okay, so clearly I got to prepare some more other spells this time around. Now, if I could prepare freedom of movement with any of these characters, I should make it so as it is completely and totally void in them being able to... Well, I also got break enchantment, but that's... Nah, it's not going to be as good. I do have freedom of movement. Immune to paralysis, stun, sleep, and entanglement effects. There's one standard action to cast it. How many targets? Range is touch. So I have to... I have to cast it at least five times. And then what? It lasts level times ten rounds. Should be able to do it. Assuming that this plan works, I'm going to be slightly pissed off. <laughs> For the record, I'm not mad at the game being all like, Oh, your character's got his head removed. He's, he's dead now. That's just logical. I am pissed off, on the other hand, about the game being all, Oh, hey, BT dubs. Your main person dies? Yeah, he, he's dead for good. Game over. Can't do anything about it. Despite the fact that A, he's got raised dead. B, if we win, just drag my freaking corpse all the way to the temple. Raised dead. I just, I, it's a bunch of baloney. <sighs> Alright, so I need to think of a new plan because clearly 
they're also immune to spells. Otherwise, I'm just rolling really incredibly low. Uh, on top of that, I really need to have it so as... So as the party composition doesn't suck. So I'm going to be able to keep uh, Pit away from them. That's this is pretty much going to be 100%. So that just means that I need to cast Riddle of Movement on everyone else but Pit. Um, mass Bull Strength. This will also make everyone a little bit faster too, so... A little bit faster, not much faster. Uh, I don't know what else to really cast besides Riddle of Movement on people. Besides, of course, Cat's Grace on River there. Because the whole... Again, uh, I know I probably explained it back when I was first doing this. A load of bullshit. But, the thing is, with Mind Flayers, is that they have to stun you in order to do their whole uh, head hickey thing. That is the weirdest way I could have worded that and I apologize all right oh wait does this also mean that he's going to be able to move around his full speed regardless of his armor that's actually kind of an interesting thought I'm kind of hoping that that's the case because that would be fan freaking tastic to have him be able to move at full freaking speed Frick. I'm sorry for saying Frick all the damn time. It's just that these goddamn mind flares have me a little bit... They have rustled my jimmies. So, how am I going to do this then? I essentially need... I essentially need River being able to uh, constantly, and I do mean 100% of the time, being able to sneak attack one of them in order to bring them down. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless to have her attack anyone. As long as we can stay out of being entangled, we should be fine. So I'm going to move everyone into position really quick. Alright. I forgot to have a character over by the pillar to activate it. You know what? It's just fine. We'll have Pit do it. He's not exactly the most useful in this situation. I think, honestly, the best that I could have him do would be to cast Ice Storm uh, from a distance on other m on the Mind Flayers. Because I don't think Ice Storm is actually affected by spell resistance. Which, if it is spell resistance based then that means I don't have to um, do the thing so first off please die oh my god two of those missed okay so presuming that freedom of movement yes oh my god it worked it worked guys it worked okay okay can't get too happy now. I think they can still murder me pretty damn handily. Right. Spell resistance. Ah, it does allow spell resistance. What doesn't allow spell resistance? All you got is those. I've gone over what spell resistance is, I'm pretty sure. Instant spell resistance. No. Um... Actually, why don't you buff yourself with more charisma? Because if... I don't know. If I can make it so as more damage is dealt... Where's... Oh, for the love of frick. Alright. But, my primary worry, their ability to make people stunned 
should be out the window. Should. This is like the heaviest, biggest. Where's that mine flare go? Right. Derp. All right. So we want to charge in on this one. I have a good chance to hit. 11 damage. It's not terrible. See, here's here's my other problem. If four mind flares is what it is that I'm going to be facing in this particular case, what's the last one? What what is what is going to be the last thing that I have to fight? All right. So, uh you're kind of useless right now, aren't you? Uh, cast your rosam on yourself. Maybe I'll be able to hit you better with my abilities like this. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Full attack action. Now, nah, let's smite the evil. You missed. I just have to miss. Alright. You're taking a small chunk of damage. But, as long as you're able to hit the guy, that's all I currently care about. Full attack action. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's still a lot of damage though, so. Again, again, my primary worry is whether or not they're able to get off a singular. I'm an idiot. He doesn't count as a threat, so it's not a sneak attack because he doesn't have a freaking melee weapon. Hmm. I'm just messing up all over the place here, aren't I? Yup. Alright. If we can cast... Just... Get the spell off on the guy. He should not be completely immune. God, that is so cheap. That is so ridiculously, bonkersly, ridiculously cheap. That, like, eh, whatever. Because it does. It essentially makes Pit and pretty much any other spellcaster completely useless against him. Of course, then again, I did remove the entire threat that is him being able... Uh, any of these guys being able to hit me, so... Well, instant kill me, anyways. Let's equip that. Yep, kind of figured that wasn't going to hit. Don't know why I thought it would. Alright, try a full attack instead. Alright, All right. he's got a good shot at killing it. that one all by his lonesome. That mine flyer, flyer is pretty foobar. Right now, my biggest solace is the fact that she sometimes is able to hit. Actually, I wonder. If I five foot step down, I know that he's going to be able to... Come on, critical. Dang it. I know that he's going to be able to see her, regardless of whether or not um, she has... She has invisibility cast on her or not. But it's the question of whether or not uh, she would still get her sneak attack off. Because she did before. Alright, so pretty much pro tip for anyone that decides to play this game. Uh, if you wanted to... If you want to completely negate the threat that is the Mind Flare, all you need to do, literally all you need to do is freedom of movement despite the fact that it should be like a stunned based effect and totally suck all right spadonkus come on smite the evil you love smiting the evil why are you failing the smiting of the evil just had a thought um step this way in turn finish him Oh, that feels good. Alright, full attack. Sneak attack? Uh, 
either one of those was a sneak attack or one of those was one hell of an incredible hit. All right. So instead, I'm going to have Pit come over this way. He cast Eagle Splendor on himself, which is an ability to make it so as he uh, actually has an increase in charisma. What if, and this is a big what if, mind you, what if I were to cast that on Spadunkus? That would make him get an increased plus two to attack and damage with his Smite Evil. I think. It's a mighty big if I'm working with here. Not to mention there was just that slight chance that uh, he might have uh, been the focus of the Mind Flayer because the Mind Flayer would have gone, Mmm, fresh meat. Been all, Ugh. Alright, Imrod, I'm pretty sure you can make this shot if it wasn't for the fact that you would need to reload anyways. <laughs> Seriously, the second that I get uh, the money to, I'm going to get that Vorpal Sword. Just straight up. Also, go figure that it's the group with the Barbarian and the group with the Rogue that is able to take out their Mind Flayers first. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying something. Oh man. Seriously, what the hell could be last? I really want to know what the hell else there could be after four freaking mind flares. I really don't want to have this question answered. I'm just saying, I'm just, I just worry. Alright, yeah, yeah, your attack of opportunity, which misses. Uh, so I want to cast Eagle Splendor on Spadunkus. This will increase his charisma. And presuming that actually does something. Let's see, let's step here so we can get a flanking bonuses on. Oh, man. I'm, you know, Roses, Melody, if you're watching this, again, thank you for this PDF. I don't think I would have been able to really figure out, oh, hey, I need to do this thing in order to make it so as they're effective. All right. Um, you're able to hit, but why don't we delay your turn? Mostly because I want to get River up behind there so that she can be most effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power attack! It'd be great if that was a critical. Nah. Uh, whose turn is it next, anyways? Delay. There we go. Step up. Full attack. You know, never mind, Spadunkus. All's good. All's good. I guess we can move everyone towards the center again now. Because I'm fairly certain that Talos and Darius have that one Mind Flayer in hand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this time. Whew. Go figure. Because here's the thing, is that their Mind Blast is what the effect is that they should be doing and the thing is is that that's completely a mental thing freedom of movement has really nothing to do with it I guess unless you count stunned as entangled which in the case of this game it does oh well full attack action Ugh. and after so many episodes that's the Mind Flayer's dead. So pretty much all I need to do is have people chill out, heal, and just kind of wonder what the last creature is going to be. Darius is exhausted, but honestly the penalties for exhaustion is not terrible. Not exhausted, fatigued. There is a difference in that. What could be... Well, now I'm just wondering what the last creature could be. 
Also, yeah, the only person that took damage was Darius. Kind of weird. Uh, we want to cure Sirius on Darius. See what I did there is a little bit of a word ploy or word play. Anyways, um, in turn, one more cure Sirius on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. So that's uh, the entirety that is whatever the hell it is that this last monster is will be a nice surprise for everyone mostly for me because this is going to this is going to suck so thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care cheers